out of the starting block in this final. The women's quadruple skulls, a lane order. Top of the picture, Germany two in lane one. Germany one in lane two. Great Britain are in lane number three. Ukraine in four and the USA in lane number five. And already just coming through the 10 strokes, looking as though Germany two up there in the red boat is having slightly the better of the first 10 strokes. Now as they start to stretch it out, Germany one in lane number two starting to move. And Great Britain had a, a bit of a slow start, a bit of a cumbersome first 10 strokes. They're now up and running and they are in lane number three. Alongside me, Gillian Lindsay has been watching the opening stages. Gillian, uh, Catherine Granger and co, a lot to do this race, but they should do pretty well. They should do it. I think we'll see the real proof of the pudding in the middle of the race, the middle ones there. And you know, they're, they're so big and strong and powerful and you know they're getting so much gaining so much experience race after race after race and at the moment in the british women's squad they have um, a core group of six excellent scholars you know we're looking at silver medalists uh, bronze medalists from athens and it's just a matter of finding the right combination at the right time and in amongst all that world championships Olympic Games, we're going to we're going to win a gold medal at some point. I've, I'm absolutely confident of it. And here we go. Look, like their nose is now out in front. They didn't have the best of starts, but they're using their power. They're using their rhythm set by Catherine Granger. I just l I love the way that she's sculling at the moment. She's come on so much this year. After Athens, it was Cap Blanche, Paul Thompson. Tell me what to do, and I'll do it for you just as long as I'm in the top boat. Catherine Granger in the stroke seat leads Great Britain through the first timing mark in the final. The women's quadruple skull sitting behind her. Frances Horton, Sarah Winkler's backs her up in the two seat. And Rebecca Romero up in the bow seat. Pretty good uh, blade work there. Gillian uh, just looking at how quite, kind of tight they are at the catch and the finish. They can now start to enjoy themselves as they get into the, the uh, second 500 meters and just let the natural rhythm come through the boat and let the boat just fly over the top of the water. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they're, they're, they're going to be looking for as much clear water as possible. I don't think they'll be at the stage of enjoying themselves just 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 now, but um, they're certainly having some fantastic sculling going on in that boat right now. The Germans, it's, it's strange not to see the Germans out in front, but you know what? It's payback time because they beat us in Athens. We were the favourites to win in Athens, and, uh, and now they're sitting down the, uh, the gauntlet, and it's good on them. It's, about the, it's their time. It's their time. So two German crews in lane one, Germany two in lane two, Germany one out front at the moment in lane three, Great Britain just starting to extend their lead, Ukraine in four, USA in five, and the uh, American crew seems to have been dropped out of the pack to the left of your picture, at the moment we've got four boats, one boat setting a comfortable lead, they've got the uh, one length lead as we head towards the next timing mark. Camera now pans back. We're up to the 1,000 meter mark. That's Germany there in the distance in lane at number one. But uh, Great Britain really after the 10 strokes, they started to find their rhythm, started to find their speed. They've now started to dominate. We're at the halfway mark and Great Britain have got clear water in this final of the women's quadruple skulls. And they can now start to move on again. In the stroke seat, Catherine Granger, Francis Horton backs her up at three. Sarah Winkless at two. Rebecca Romero in lane in, in the bow seat. We're going through the 1,000-meter uh, mark. Great Britain in first place, Germany one in second, and the Ukraine have moved into the third position. Just looking at the German quad here, it's just looking a little bit tense. Um, it's looking like hard work for them, whereas hopefully the camera will pan out to the British quad, and we're beginning to see the, the kind of distance that the men's four won by uh, earlier on. And it, you know, what a position to be in. Sarah Winkless, we've been staying with the guys at the... Uh, the hotel. Sarah Winkless has been walking around with an arm brace and she's got a, a bone in her wrist that keeps sort of just popping out and she's just yeah, she's got a brace on her sort of forearm and that must be some sort of difficulty some but look at, I mean they take it off obviously for the race it doesn't have an effect in the race she's gonna have a scan but I mean the girls are doing so well they're just speeding along now yeah I, I think Sarah will do anything just to keep her place in this boat and make sure because we've still got Debbie Flood potentially to come into this combination. Debbie Flood came third at the British final trials. Uh, she stepped out of the quad to concentrate on her exams, uh, has now finished her finals, and, uh, and she's pretty hungry to get back into this winning combination here. So, you know, to some extent, uh, the, not every seat in this boat is safe at the minute. Fabulous technique. Look at the timing of the blade work. In together, out together, the length on the slide, coming up the slide, 
you know, Catherine's been told by Paul Thompson, row longer, longer, longer every day because Francis and Sarah Winkless sitting behind her sit at six foot four. Their frame is six foot four in, in height. Into now the last 500 meters and Great Britain are just striding away. They're lifting it up. Catherine Granger in the stroke seat. Rebecca Romero in the bow seat was stroking this through last year at the Olympic Games into the silver medal position. Now, perhaps this is the combination. This little movement bringing in Catherine Granger into the stroke seat. Maybe this will be the conversion that we need to get up into uh, the uh, gold medal position. It just looks so right, this combination. It looks like every stroke they're like, yep, we want, you know, we want more, we can give more, let's do it, do it better. It just doesn't look like they're uh, anxious about anything. They're frightened to, to push on. It, it's fabulous, you know, and, and, and it's about time, Gary. I totally agree with that. And Paul Thompson, who will be following on his bike alongside Again, we're seeing another job well done here. It's two out of two so far. We've got three World Cups at regattas in this season. Two out of two, not bad. But uh, at this moment, Great Britain can look back and see the remaining four boats fighting it out for the silver and the bronze medal position. Currently in second place, Ukraine moving up quite nicely. USA now have come back and taken uh, out the two German crews who themselves are fighting for selection for this, for this slot. But a little over 100 metres now. Great Britain all heads up, nice and long, striding it out. Crowd appreciating a good demonstration of quad sculling. Ukraine holding on for the silver medal position. And uh, USA taking it up. Coming through now. USA up into a third position. They're trying to fight, but they're not going to get the silver medal. Great Britain over safely in first. Ukraine over it second. There's USA in the bronze medal position. And Germany too up there in lane number one will get fourth and Germany one will take uh, the last main, last main, uh, last position in uh, fifth place but there we go smiles all around a good uh, effort there it was great in the first 500 by the thousand they had convincingly put it in the bag the second thousand Gillian they just were able to enjoy that it